Here's a brief overview of the mortgage market's evolution. In ancient civilizations, such as Greece and Rome, loans secured by land or property were common. If a borrower failed to repay the loan, the lender could take possession of the property. Medieval Europe, during the Middle Ages, feudal systems prevailed in Europe. Land was often held by lords, and peasants worked the land in exchange for protection. Mortgages were used in this context to transfer land ownership, with the understanding that the lender could take possession of the land if the borrower defaulted. Early America, mortgages were brought to North America by European settlers. In colonial America, land was often granted as loans or security for debts. Over time, as the United States expanded westward, the mortgage market grew and became more formalized. 19th century, the 19th century saw the development of modern mortgage practices in the United States. Building societies and savings and loans associations emerged, providing a more structured way for people to finance home purchases. These institutions offer long-term, fixed-rate mortgages. 20th century, the U.S. government played a significant role in shaping the mortgage market in the 20th century. The Federal Housing Administration, FHA, was established in 1934 to provide insurance for home loans, making home ownership more accessible. In 1938, Fannie Mae, Federal National Mortgage Association, was created to purchase and guarantee mortgages, further promoting the availability of mortgage financing. Securitization In the latter half of the 20th century, the mortgage market underwent significant changes with the advent of securitization. Mortgage-backed securities, MBS, allowed banks and lenders to bundle mortgages and sell them to investors, reducing their exposure to risk and increasing liquidity in the market. Subprime crisis The early 21st century saw the housing bubble and subsequent subprime mortgage crisis in 2007 to 2008. Risky lending practices, coupled with a proliferation of complex financial instruments tied to mortgages, led to a global financial crisis. Post-crisis regulation, in response to the financial crisis, governments around the world implemented stricter regulations on mortgage lending and financial institutions. In the United States, the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act aimed to prevent a recurrence of the crisis by imposing new rules on mortgage underwriting and financial markets. Modern era, the mortgage market continues to evolve with advancements in technology, online lending platforms, and changing consumer preferences. Mortgage rates, types, and lending standards fluctuate based on economic conditions and government policies. Today, the mortgage market remains a critical component of the real estate industry and the broader economy, with various types of mortgages and lending options available to homeowners and buyers. It has come a long way from its ancient origins to become a highly sophisticated and regulated financial sector. Knowing a bit of history can definitely help. You'll have a better understanding of how the mortgage market works over time which will help you to better understand how it's working right now. Knowledge is power in any business, and it's no less so in an environment as competitive as real estate. Being better versed with this deeper understanding of the mortgage market allows you to share this knowledge with customers and clients, presenting you as an authority on the topic, who can demystify the process and add value to the home buying transaction. That value could very well help you secure a few more clients a year, which means more annualized revenue for your business. So put aside the skepticism for a few minutes and let's talk a brief journey to how we got where we are today. The Great Depression and the Start of the Modern Mortgage Market In the 1930s, before the Great Depression, home mortgages looked a lot different. Most were only 5-10 to 10 year amortized loans and only accounted for about 50% of the value of the home or property, which meant that to buy a home at least a 50% down payment was required, making it difficult, if not impossible for the average citizen to buy a home. The principal on the home was due at the very end of the loan in one installment, or once called a balloon payment. When the financial markets crashed and the Great Depression followed, the value of housing plummeted as well. People were defaulting on their balloon payments, and upwards of a thousand people a day were losing their homes. In an effort to lift the country out of the Depression, the Roosevelt administration, as part of the New Deal era of the 1930s, made a number of changes to the mortgage system that set the stage for the mortgage market of today. Among the changes were the establishment of a number of federal agencies that would help stabilize and oversee this market, as well as make home mortgages more accessible to the average citizen. Many of these agencies are still integral to the home lending and buying process today. Federal Home Loan Bank System, FHLB, 1932 
This is a consortium of regional banks that still exists today to provide a secure stream of money to lend to potential home buyers. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, 1933. This agency ensures deposits in U.S. banks, so long as they are FDIC approved. Federal Housing Administration, FHA, 1934. The same administration that provides loans to tens of thousands of home buyers every year, often first-time buyers. Federal National Mortgage Association, FNMA, 1938 better known today as Fannie Mae. This agency buys and guarantees mortgages on the secondary market, and this guarantee helps lower income home buyers secure loans they might not otherwise get. These agencies and some created a federal infrastructure that ultimately made home buying more affordable.